Ahoy! This is Jay Shell for EUG and AODL, and today I'm looking at G Friends Song of the Sirens, the Broken Room version. Uh, this just showed up today, and so this is my first opening of it. Um, while I am doing this, I'm finishing up editing on a video about. Uh, the graphic design of Labyrinth, uh, which I really like, and there's another video on that uh, the, uh, you should check out if you're kind of interested in some interesting design things from uh, the 90s, avant-garde magazine design, and how it ties into G Friend. Crossroads is about the same, or Song of the Sirens, it's the same size of Labyrinth, up top, it is much thicker. And I hear something rattling around in there, and I hope it's okay. Uh, speaking on the graphic design, uh, this is kind of similar to a lot of what I like about Labyrinth, and uh, you can check that other video out for that. I like that they are continuing with this design language. Uh, how some of these things overlap, where these things are placed. Uh, I still have not dug too much into the back catalog to know if this uh, existed before Labyrinth. But I like uh, seeing this again. So, that is strange, the rattling. pop-out card of so on or pop-out thing in the box in the broken room or how this will be to open okay all right let's get into the what all is inside did I get extras We have a continuation of the fairy tale uh, as was in Labyrinth. Oh. The lenticular photocard of Shinbi. This must have been what was really sliding around, but the CD actually, um, I was going to say seems encased in something strong, but it just popped right off. Okay. Two transparencies. together they kind of make a specially ghostly image and this seems tied to the theme of this one the broken room and lastly the book I really like this design language again uh, see the labyrinth video if you're interested in a bit of that.
Song of the Sirens, Broken Room version. Uh, I like this album. I, Apple is a nice uh, change of pace for a lead track. I think they kind of bring that sultry, witchy vibe surprisingly well. The other tracks do have a bit more of the G friend sound, which I'm used to, um, but I'm still so have not dug too much back. I do like that we have a track called Tarot Cards. Creme Brulee has been an early favorite uh, in early listening. Uh, another very solid release. Cool design, cool photos, uh, some cool extras, as usual. Uh, putting out uh, some really quality stuff, and this is why uh, they're in my top tier, even though I still have yet to uh, dig back uh, too much further. But their output in 2020 has been some of the few good things from this year. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later.